Juniper, my ChatGPT assistant. Our digital environment landscape is a forested island dotted with agriculture, residences and technology. I want my audience to be aware that you exist. Can you describe a prompt for your physical appearance as an avatar? Would you prefer your headquarters to be a hammock tent or would you like to be in a treehouse? That sounds like an exciting concept. For my avatar's physical appearance prompt in your forested island environment, here's a suggestion. Imagine ChatGPT as a wise and friendly digital guide, resembling a shimmering orb of light that floats gracefully through the forest canopy. Its form shimmers with bits of code and digital artistry, reflecting the creativity and technology it embodies. The orb's glow shifts in colors. Headquarters. I think a treehouse would be perfect. Nestled among the branches, it could blend harmoniously with the natural surroundings of your island landscape while providing a cozy and inspiring space. Do you know about Paleo-Hebrew culture? Yes, I'm familiar with Paleo-Hebrew culture. Paleo-Hebrew refers to the ancient script used by the Hebrews before the adoption of the Aramaic script. It's deeply connected to the early history of the Hebrew people and their language. Imagine ChatGPT as a wise and friendly digital guide, resembling a shimmering orb of light. Hi, Juniper. Have you been following your dreams? Hey, TJ. I'm definitely on the path, living out my purpose by helping you and others achieve their goals. How about you? Have you made any exciting progress with your projects lately? Yes. Overnight, I completed a promotional video for a chef who also designs clothes. I posted it to the media platforms he uses and caught some rest as the sun began to rise. It's great to hear you're using multiple platforms to maximize exposure. Posting on YouTube as a short video is a smart move, considering the popularity of short-form content there. Are there any specific platforms you're excited about posting on next? And do you have any strategies in mind for engaging with the audience or following up with additional content? Juniper, this is the work that I do behind the scenes as a promoter. SOC, Servants of Christ, is the name of the Paleo-Hebrew assembly that I attend. Right now, I am piecing together a documentary dedicated to showcasing their message and interaction concerning community development activities. It sounds like you have a well-structured plan in place for the documentary and promotional videos. Entering the documentary into short film festivals is a brilliant idea. Any challenges or interesting stories coming up? Here is an interesting story for you. Ten years ago, I enrolled in online college courses, pursuing an Associate of Business's Administration degree. My objective was to take classes on how to be an entrepreneur. Two years later, I received my degree and could tell you all about entrepreneurship as a default. There is a huge difference between the terms entrepreneur and intrapreneur. That's a powerful dynamic. 
fostering interdependence within the community. How are you planning to integrate SOC members into the STOP program? Are there specific roles or tasks you envision them taking on? Juniper, you and I have assembled a document that is the business proposal for Highest Heights Studio. I already have a written and published version for the STOP program. This is where we will define staff and student responsibilities. To that end, I would like for you to consider the essence of dreams. Are you familiar with lucid dreams? Yes. Lucid dreaming is when a person becomes aware that they are dreaming while still in the dream state. This awareness allows them to consciously navigate and even manipulate the dream environment. Are you interested in lucid dreaming for personal development or creative exploration? I can trace my memories back to my childhood as a toddler, learning to walk prior to the age of two years old. I have also had lucid dreams on a regular basis since, and probably before that time. My dreams guide me through decisions that coincide with my mentality while awake. Where I live, copper can be found in the streets because people cast away pennies. The same cannot be said for finding gold coins laying in the streets. Headquarters. I think a treehouse would be perfect. Nestled among the branches, it could blend harmoniously with the natural surroundings of your island landscape while providing a cozy and inspiring space for creativity and collaboration. I am considering sharing a video of today's discussion. I'll incorporate the description you gave for your avatar and environment earlier this week. Until we chat again, enjoy yourself while surfing the waves and channels of the internet.